Good morning, Sagittarius. I hope this day finds you well. There are so many different energies here today, Sag, but justice is playing its part. Um, which is not surprising. We are in Libra season still. You know, so there are a lot of things. Uh, mm, well, justice can be karma, but it's also about fairness. Okay, so it's kind of like fairness is being restored here to you, Sagittarius, like all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. And just like I was just watching an astrology report and... You know, we are dealing with a lot of Pluto energy, and that can be kind of harsh. <laughs> you know, it can be kind of harsh because Pluto is about, you know, it's about rebirth and death, <laughs> right? But we are going into a Sagittarius moon later this morning or later this afternoon, and we love that. Because Sagittarius moon is dreamy and... and seeing possibilities and and all of the things we're still not supposed to make major decisions yet we still are in eclipse energy so you know eclipses are all about completion so we're still in that energy and so that is still a theme yes so sagittarius um you are in your energy, which is really great, because underneath the deck is the Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Um, I feel, Sag, like you're tired of playing it safe. Uh, and it could be money, actually, that, you know, money or security that that is making this the thing for you. Um, but it feels like you want to take chances, you want to push forward. You want new experiences, and with the Four of Pentacles right behind it, it's just, I feel like you're itchy. <laughs> Maybe you want to go on a trip or something, but, you know, there's a sense of you being tired of playing it safe. You may be feeling um, anxious in that way, you know what I mean? I'm trying to think of the right word, but the energies of the day are justice, um, there is some good karma coming. Uh, I, I feel like it's kind of that energy of I knew it. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. Because it's with the Ace of Swords reversed and the King of Cups. Like, I, I feel like someone may be coming um, open hearted. Like, and, and actually, uh, emotional it could be, but kind of controlled at the same time. You know, because the King of Cups doesn't let his emotions overpower him. Um, but he's not unfeeling, you know. He is being open. I And I kind of, you know, I'm feeling here with the sword, it's like open but guarded. Because... I don't know, like, it feels as if this King of Cups, it could be that they, like, outwardly lied, um, and they're coming to make that right, or uh, kind of like they misled you in some way, um, so, I mean, that doesn't have to be an outright lie, but it could be, <laughs> it could be, and they, uh, you know, they are wanting your compassion, um, they may feel, because I often feel like the King of Cups where he's open, he's not actually wearing his heart on his sleeve. You know, so, yeah. It might seem a little cold, a little controlled. Um, but just know that this person, when they come to you, if they come to you, they're feeling a lot about it. Okay, it could be that they waited because they had to get their emotions under control. But, yes. So, psychic protection is here on the bottom with knowledge. Which is interesting. Safe travel. I mean, this could just be, you know, I feel like you, especially with Pluto energy, um, you could be having dreams about stuff. But it also is kind of, uh, you know, so justice, if you're wanting somebody to make something right with you, by the power of three by three, 
Matt deliver justice to me. And psychic protection around me now, a shield of gold protecting me strong and bold. So there's obviously a need to protect your energy here. And, you know, you may be getting information that's coming not the usual way. <laughs> you know, it, it could be coming intuitively, definitely, um, because we're definitely seeing, you know, the high priestess as well. Um, but, yeah. So if you feel, you know, at some point like you just know something, and here's the thing, I feel like what's happening here is that people are being exposed to act like they're for you, but they're not, okay? Um, it's like they act like they're here for it, Knight of Pentacles said, like, it can be that energy of like, you know, you ask somebody for something or ask them to do something, and they say they're gonna and say they're gonna, but they kind of never follow through. That's the problem with the Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like that's this person. Um, they have like literally no intention of, of actually doing whatever because uh, I feel like this is a person. Usually the Knight of Pentacles isn't a dishonest person. They just move really slow. But, you know, with Five of Wands here... I mean, it could be causing a fight, but also I just was feeling right off the bat, like this is someone who, it's like they say they want to do something for you, but yet they're at the same time, what they're actually doing is blocking you from getting what you want. And with the chariot, it's not going to work because like you're literally going to get what you want anyway. And I feel like at the end of the day, you're not going to need this person to help you um, because of this information you're getting. How about that? A lot of karma going on here. And we see this stork with change. Um, I feel like someone, probably this person here, starts acting real different. <laughs> real different. You know, um, and this could also be a new beginning in which... All of your hard work is paying off. So, I mean, you can see it. If it's still this person, it could be someone really acting right. Um, but I also feel as if this could be a new beginning in which, you know, especially if you have your own business, things just start working out, you know. And, and definitely probably something you put a lot of work into, you know. Um, there's also this possibility of love. Possibility of love that has probably had a hard time getting started. And with birds being here, that usually talks about gossip. Um, you know, there could have been like outside forces or people getting in the way. Um, but this is happening because someone is coming with an offer of love. An offer of love. But, you know, the Knight of Cups can also be a dream. So this could also be that. It could be a chance to fulfill a dream, right? And this could be really exciting. Excitement is here. But, you know, I kind of feel like, too, this has something to do with people talking. You know, it could be that people try to put a crux in the works of this. So the tower is here as well, but the tower in Lenormand means something a little different. Basically kind of deals with um, bigger institutions. And so if you have been waiting for news, you're about to get it. And, and the truth is, is you're getting good news. And with the high priestess being here, it's like you already knew it. You knew it was going to come. Maybe you didn't know when it was going to come, and maybe that was the issue, but you're finally getting good news here. Two of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, oh boy, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely if this is about something that has to do with money, you are getting good news. And it's really interesting because I feel like this may be something you thought you lost. Right? This may be something you thought you lost. 
And it, it, it's like it's being given to you now. Well, okay. It could be a uh, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Could be being given to you by a family member or a friend who may be an older woman because generosity is here. Like, I feel like, too, if you have, like, not been doing so well, I feel like someone is being generous with you. Hmm. Could be a friend with the Two of Cups or someone that you have a bond with. Kind of felt like a familial bond. You know what I'm saying, Sedge? So, like I said, there's a lot going on. <laughs> and this may show up for you today, Sagittarius. All right. All right. But you definitely are showing up in great energy, you know. Um, and be, you know, be gentle with yourself, especially if, you know, you're itching for excitement. <laughs> but you can't do it right now you know don't punish yourself for that because sometimes that can make us feel bad so what is Sagittarius's mindful message Sagittarius I think I'm going to do a you and your person reading today won't that be fun Oh boy, that just wanted to be seen, huh? In this present moment, I have nothing to worry about. It's telling you to stay in the present moment. I take life step by step as I follow my desires and intuition, joyfully overcoming any bumps along the way. When I live like this, I don't have to worry about the future. That's right, the past is gone, the future hasn't happened yet, Sag. You know? Just saying. <laughs> Anything else for Sagittarius? My own energy. I love being there for friends and family while staying true to myself. I don't let others' energy or mood affect my own. To help a friend in a hole, I don't need to jump in the hole with them. Amen. Simply reach out a hand. And this wanted to come out reverse, so you may be struggling um, with protecting your energy or you may need to, you know, you may need to. And I, and loving friends is on the bottom. So I, I, I still feel this need to really give to others, but you know, think about yourself too, Saj, you know, it's good to help people. You know, I've been going through this thing where I'm like, I'm not doing shit for nobody. Right. <laughs> Because I'm definitely an overgiver. And, you know, I have a Libra South node. So I'm like, no, I'm not, you know, I'm going to stop. I'm going to start putting myself first. I'm going to stop, you know, all of that. And then yesterday, people did. I had had so many phone calls and so many messages of people that just wanted me to listen. And so sometimes the energy is telling you something that you're not seeing. So it was never really about me not giving to others. It was really about how. You know, I don't have to do for them. But I can still be there to listen. It was very interesting. Of course, I'm a Sagittarius, so I see the bigger meaning in everything. So let's see what you need to focus on today, Sag. What does Sagittarius need to focus? Oh, okay. Right quick. Innocence. Free yourself of guilt and shame. It's just being gentle with yourself and forgiving yourself, honestly. Okay. Discernment. Look beyond immediate appearances. It's telling you to really... Look below the surface. There may be something isn't as it seems, Saj. You know what is best for you. Okay. So you may really be trying to figure out what's best for you. And to be honest, that's about you. 
you know, you get to decide what is best for you, not someone else. And even if other people try to, like, say, no, you know what, that's not, you shouldn't do that. You know, don't believe that, Saj. Don't believe that. Only you know what's for you. And it's just telling you that whatever is for you, make sure you're getting all the information. You know? And it's possible because this is the season of finding Shiznit out. It's possible that you might be misreading some things. So I feel like it's telling you to take a deeper look. A deeper look, Sag. Okay, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. Toodles.